most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having but I'm sitting on the side of a sidewalk after I've had my supper and I'm letting my food digest as most people do and they take time to enjoy their meal we're wondering about food in America not at all because most of us have plentiful amounts of food but even in a time of COVID we are learning that many people are losing jobs it's a hot topic for the vice president to talk about today and it's something that most people should be sharing with one another across, well, any bay. The truth is that COVID has an impact. It has a death toll, it has an impact on people and their desire to be around other people. They don't always know what is right and they don't always know what is wrong. But people who don't do the right thing all the time are almost always wrong. People who do the right thing most of the time are usually in good spirits. They usually have a good effort, they usually have a good performance, and they usually keep a job. People who are interested in gossiping and talking about other people in areas of their life that are odd are usually not welcome too long in a job. You see, you have to know the rules of the job, but you also have to know the regards of the industry. You also need to know what the benchmarks are for your career track, and if you don't, you haven't really put yourself forward in a way that is, well, best for you or best for your company. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about professions, and there are many professions in the world that a lot of us know about, but we're not experts in them. We have an experience of them based on the people we network with, the people we talk to, the people we socialize with, or the people that we might sell to or vend to or receive opportunities from. But in life, there are moments of time to really be something to someone, and that's a right that only a few people earn. You see, what we know from a marvelous company called Send Out Guards who did the study is that it takes about 14 interactions to build trust. That kind of amount of time to build trust and the number of conversations or meetings or whatnot has also been confirmed in a book called uh, The Trusted Advisor that's predominantly written by David McNally. But openly we have to know, and I hope that's the author's name, sorry about that, but in, most of the time we have to know what's what and who's who in our life. Because when we do, then we know who supports us. When we do, then we know who will help us. When we do, we know what can happen when the chips fall down all around the ground. Will that person support us in what we're trying to achieve for us? Or will they try to deceive us and misperceive us of what's going on for us. There's always someone who's trying to tell someone their emotions. Women are notorious for trying to tell a man his emotions. And let me tell you, most men know what their emotions are. They've gone through preschool, they've gone through educational programs, they've gone through college psychology classes and other requirements, so they sort of know what their emotions are. They just don't talk about them all the time. They might articulate very simply what they are, but they're not going to always talk about codependency issues and other things like that that really put them, well, at a jar from other men. You see, how women talk to women is one thing. How men talk to men is another. How women talk to men and how men talk to women is totally different. And openly, I can tell you this because often I have women try to tell me how I'm doing something with or without men. And I sit there and go, you don't live your life as a man. You don't interact with men as a man. So how do you happen to know what men do other than the fact of what you observe them do when they're in the public eye? But when they're privately together, it's kind of amazing how foul-mouthed men can be. It's also amazing how people run around calling each other brother until you can see that they're really not your friend at all. The truth is that in life there's many jealousies, there's many one-upsmanships, there's many games that men like to play with other people to be in power in a way that is not appropriate, not only to their job description and what the responsibilities may be or where their accountabilities may lie, but openly there's probably someone above them that would be pretty pissed off if they knew they were in the midst of a lie.